Hello friends, it is election day and what a blessing it is to be able to participate in how our country runs. It is really a great blessing that God has given to those of us who live here in this country. I think about John Wesley's rules for voting. John Wesley was the founder of the Methodist Church. He had three rules. The first is to vote without fee or reward for the person that you think is most worthy. The second rule is to speak no evil of the person that you voted against. And rule number three is take care that your spirit is not sharpened against those who voted on the other side. Those are, are great rules for us to think about on this election day. It also brings me to a passage in the book of Philippians. In this letter to the Philippians, Paul is writing from Rome back to the believers there in Philippi. And he has a great word for them, uh, I think that really helps us in this moment. I mean, we, the citizens of the United States, who are followers of Jesus Christ, have the opportunity to show the world what true unity really is. In the midst of all our political differences that we might have, we can show the world what unity truly is. So Philippians chapter 1, verse 27 says this, Live your life in a manner worthy of the gospel of Christ, so that whether I come and see you or am absent and hear about you, I will know that you are standing firm in one spirit, striving side by side with one mind for the faith of the gospel. Live a life worthy of the gospel, Paul says. Strive together side by side, being singularly focused on faith and on the work of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Thank you, First Methodist Conroe, uh, for all you followers of Jesus who are here in this place. I know this is your heart. More than politics, more than elections, more than your own comfort in this world, you seek to make Christ known by being the church, united in heart and spirit so that others can see the love of God in and through us. Voting is a blessing, and it's a responsibility that we should take very seriously. But it is the power of God in Jesus Christ that will truly change the world. So go vote if you have not. Please, go vote. And go tell others about Jesus Christ as well. See, one makes a big difference for the next few years. The other makes a great difference for all of eternity. So God bless us. God bless the United States of America thankful that we have the opportunity to be here in this country, thankful mostly that we have the opportunity to be united together in Jesus Christ. God bless you.